A one, two, three, four. to add color to my garden so while I'm doing it the front yard I want to show you guys how I made the pavers these pavers have already been in my garden before I just turned it over I painted the um, the other side the green color but I'm using the adhesive and grout you can only you can also use adhesive only if you want to use a different color maybe for the top to grout it um, but for me because this is just kind of like a beginning like a starter DIY type of thing and I already had the white grout and I didn't really feel like <laughs> putting any more color into it which turned out pretty good so um, I had this cup that my daughter got me um, from Chicago and she was at the Oprah show yes she was at the Oprah show she sang and um, at, at the airport, she got me these this mug, the Chicago mug. And it's been years, like I think it was in 2008 when this happened. And I've had this mug forever, it's one of my favorite mug. So this is kind of um, like one of the things that you can do to um, perpetualize something that you love. Um, it broke, so I decided I was gonna use it to make the mosaic on this particular stepping stone and just add whatever I had to to add to it in the process. So what I'm doing right now, well, actually I just broke this cup and just broke it just randomly with a hammer, but make sure that you put a towel on top of it so you don't nick the actual surface of of the um, ceramic so I just I'm just gonna gonna put this together like this and and with a um, I use my artist um, knife like uh, I don't know it's like a spreader or something you guys know what the name of it is I can't remember what the name of it is. what's what the name of it is now but um, a palette knife that's what it is so I use my palette knife to just apply this adhesive on the actual um, shards of um, ceramic and also on the surface because if it's a cup it's gonna have curves to it so in order to adhere this you know curvy pieces to a flat surface um, you kind of have to be really generous with it so I did that and it, it's a it's a mug that I've had forever it and it's not like one of those sturdy mugs it's like obviously a cheap kind of mug so that's why it didn't last forever because I don't know the the material that they made it from is just like really you can tell it's kind of hollow perfect for this kind of um, project but not to have something that will memorialize an event forever <laughs> because it obviously broke anyway so i'm doing this and what i was planning to do in my yard is to um have this lined up and then in between I'm going to do mosaic um, I'm going to mosaic with um, just like rocks like colored rocks not too much color but like maybe white black and brown and you'll see it later I think I showed it to you in the beginning and um, I had like some inspiration from um, YouTube where this guy that like did it um you know he's he's hired to do this and i don't know if i did it correctly i mean time will tell because um, i'm a novice at it 
so we'll see what happens after the rains and after like harsh weather if it'll stay intact which i hope it will <laughs> but i'll show you that in an, in another video because um i'm just i just want to concentrate right now on making these mosaic and it's really very very easy um, i have a pathway right now that i'm working on i don't know maybe in the future when i have um, a lot of time in my hands uh, to do mosaic on it too it's this is this is like a work in progress it's going to take me forever and i've already accepted the fact that it's going to take me forever to get this front yard as good as my plan is where i just want to, it to be like a succulent oasis the succulents right now are very very young and very very small and um what i did was i <clears throat> excuse me i used the succulents that i had extras so that those can grow into bigger succulents and then i can um, start selling them again because right now it's starting to thin out and you know also because of the weather um, the changes in the weather how how we had such a drastic summer with no rain whatsoever the garden just started to look really really thin and well I mean in the summertime they're actually supposed to be um, in dormancy anyway so but I don't know because sometimes when I look at other people's gardens um, it looks like it's really full I don't, and, and but I don't really want to water the garden so much that you know the the dormancy like it'll mess with their dormancy and just start you know rotting or whatever so you know i just i'm just trying to keep an eye on them and i think the reason why the plants in the back are so thin and so sickly kind of almost sickly looking is because of the trees that are you know shedding a lot of leaves on them and i have to kind of like be vigilant in t in um picking up all the leaves and cleaning up after it because i don't want it to just sit on my plants and start killing it just like it did with um, the um, video that I showed you where it killed my my Dick's Pink my Echeveria Dick's Pink and I actually sent a letter to my to my neighbor yesterday and I haven't heard back from him I, I think he's ghosting me I don't know usually he would respond like right away oh I'm sorry blah 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 but this time he didn't so I don't know maybe he's trying to think of a way to fix the situation I did suggest to him that um, to build something like a tall netting so that all his tree leaves would fall into his yard instead of my yard and the other alternative is to just cut the tree down he cut the tree get this he cut the tree on his side almost nothing almost there nothing there's no leaves or anything like falling on his yard but on my yard and the next his next door neighbor's yard he didn't do anything he didn't cut the the leaves he didn't he didn't cut the branches so i don't know <laughs> i'm starting to think that you know he likes the he likes the conflict or being like in control or whatever I'm hoping not but that's like the worst that could happen though that's the very worst that could happen anyway so what I'm doing here is I'm just filling it all the way I didn't have enough like look at what I have here this is it for the whole the entire cup so I am going to have to add some other elements to it um, just to fill it up and you'll see it later yeah it's it's a, it's an easy project but I did this in the middle of the summer so it was really hot 
but I had to get it done. I can't just have the sometimes there are time well, there are days when it's so hot outside that I you can't I just can't do it. You know, it it's too hot. It just drains you. I mean, I have a lot of energy, but once I get out there in the sun and it's just and you start sweating. <laughs> I know you guys know this because it's it's like Oh, you're starting to sweat and you're losing so much water, but you don't really want to stop to take a drink of water because number one, you know, it'll just make you go pee. <laughs> then you have to go pee. Then you have to, you know, do uh, something else. And then I'm very distracted. Like my mind is fleeting. Like when I see something, then I say, oh, I got to get that done. Then I forgot what I already did. What I was already in the middle of doing, but then sometimes I don't forget. But it's like ah, this is this got, has got to be done. This is why I need a list. I need to wake up in the morning, make a list of what I have to do, so that I can check it off one at the time. So that at the end of the day, I've gotten something, you know, done because. <laughs> I just, my mind just goes every which way during the day. And then I'm tired. Then I got to go eat. Then I get, oh, it's just, a, it's a vicious cycle, guys. A vicious, vicious cycle. But these are the kind of things that I love doing because I'm like, I, it's the artist in me that just um, likes to get stuff like this, you know, done. And this is just so random. I should have like, um, followed the the print on the on the actual <laughs> cup but it's like ah, I don't feel like it it's at least it's uniform color <laughs> also make sure that you guys wear gloves because this adhesive right here and the grout will eat your skin I cannot tell you oh plus the fact that you're working with shards of glass right and there's going to be sharp edges. Make sure that um, you wear the gloves to protect your fingers, to protect your hand. Um, I also have like, you see this tool next to me? That's a glass cutter. So you can also use something like that. But um, I used it with some of the, the shards, but I didn't really use the whole thing. Use it for the whole thing. I used my hammer. Uh, which works the same way, except for when you use the hammer, it'll give you some smaller pieces and then you've wasted those pieces rather than just having a glass cutter like this one and being able to use every bit of the ceramic. But if you don't mind, that's okay. You don't, you don't have to. But I ended up with so much plates and cups and stuff like that because I just got crazy you guys I went on Facebook marketplace and I started buying up these. and of the, I was also thinking about doing one other project where I'm gonna cut um, like you know the llama and um, I was gonna cut like cups and stuff like that to make a mosaic so I can use like half the cup like cut the, the cup in half lengthwise and then set it into with the adhesive into like a piece of wood or something and then cut a little bit of um hole in the in the bottom to do the drainage and then put some succulents in there and hang it somewhere on the fence to you know add some more interest to my garden but that's going to be uh, done a little bit later. I'm really um, in a hurry to do, to f just get it finished, like everything in the front yard just finished, or at least looking like it is finished. And then I'm going to do start doing some other elements. So here I have just the, those little baubles. Is that what you call them? It's like little... Um, marbles that you get from the dollar store and i'm using green because that's all i have <laughs> i had 
blue, but I used it for another um, step stone. And I think I ran out. So I'm now I'm using green, which doesn't look so bad. Look, guys, it's so cute. It's so pretty. It adds so much interest. And then when the, the light of the sun catches it, it just like it it just makes it look so good you know and not boring boring pavers that you would normally see that's why uh i'm thinking about doing the same thing to the to the walkway that i just created i'm going to show you guys that too but it's going to be for another video and there she is all done and all I have to do is put the grout, cement grout, on top of it, just like the one I did earlier. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, guys, so this is another one of uh, the ones that I just did. Uh, it's a different kind. I use plates from the dollar store. So, But for this one, guys, I actually took some, this is cement, and I removed all of the big parts the big um, chunks of like little rocks and stuff like that because I didn't want the rocks to not fit into the groove so I, I sifted it through a sieve and so now I'm I'm left with just the powder part you can do you can buy you can actually buy grout um, I did not have any, but I did have cement, so that's what I'm using for this project. I should have used grow because then I could have like the color, but it turned out okay. And you know, I'm just gonna step on these things. Who cares? Uh, but you do have the the option of doing that to yours if you want to. Again, with the gloves, I should have gotten some thick gloves you know the ones that you use for the dishes because they're thicker and when you're doing this you kind of have to slide off you kind of kind of push everything into the grooves and you're gonna get your your fingers are gonna get like really whacked if you don't use something you know to protect it i've seen people use gloves that are really thick and However, the, the problem that I have with that one is I have to feel, I'm very tact, uh, tacit, tactical, tactical. Um, I have to touch, um, every, you know, what I, I, and feel what I'm doing. Otherwise, um, it's, it's not, I feel like it's not going to be as good as it would be if I was able to feel everything but it just really whacked my fingers and it took days before it healed. I mean, I had like small little paper cuts, it seemed like, and they hurt so bad, especially when I washed my hands and I washed my hands with soap and water. Um, yeah, I had to wear some, some of them were so deep that I had to wear a Band-Aid. So that's my biggest, advice to you guys if you're gonna do this which you really really you guys need to do this it's because it's going to add so much charm to your garden i mean i don't know how cute it turned out um you know i i just can't believe how cute this turned out after i was done with it <clears throat> excuse me so yeah so i make sure that you wear gloves these are like those um, cheap gloves that you got <laughs> from Walmart. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, the, you know, the, the grout doesn't really matter. 
because you can use the cement. Make, just make sure that you spray this. You spray these step stones before you use them. You spray them like at least with water every day for about a week. Just quickly spray it because the more you spray it with water, the harder it is. And if you have the sunshine, I mean, I would suggest to do this during the either the spring or the summer where the sun gets really hot so that it you know it dries fa really fast so i'm just um applying now all the the cement there but i'm making sure that i don't let it sit out too long without wiping wiping it off because it's gonna you're gonna have to scrape it off if you don't wipe it off right away uh, you know the surface and don't get don't push down too hard to wipe it off because um, it'll take some off the grooves and then you have to redo it. So um, I just let it sit for about 30 minutes, maybe, maybe less. But if once you see and, you know, when you when you mix it, you mix it like with this kind of consistency, like something that's easy to see. Now it's starting to dry up. Um, the consistency is kind of like pancake batter, but a little bit thicker. I'll show you like right here. I think you've already been seeing, but just like that. So, so that it's not too runny and take, it takes forever or it's so thin that it, you, you know, you'll have to put another layer on top of it. And then it'll dry faster than it would if you had it so thin that, you know, you'll have to scrape it off anyway. And I use a spatula. Why not? Because it makes so much sense. It's so bendable. And, in, you know, instead of those um, uh, scraper knives that you can get from Home Depot, I mean, just make. The best out of everything and look at here I'm just rubbing it off I'm just rubbing everything off of the surface of the actual sim, uh, ceramic so that when I wipe all this off it'll be easier you know because it's not gonna stick to ceramic because ceramic is um, already smooth and slippery but in between the grooves it will stick there because it's rough and, and raw. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do. And um, once you get this done, it's like you are going to get so addicted to doing it. You're going to want to mosaic everything. Then you end up with so many plates. Then you end up going to all the the um, garage sales. <laughs> this is what I did. Oh, I need red. Oh, I need this color. I need blue because I want to make a flag, right? And I'm still going to make the flag. I still have. So I go everywhere looking for dishes, you know. And for some reason, I can't find any. Like, people don't think that, that dishes are necessary to put out in a garage sale for some reason. But I did um, got... I. I did go to one of these um, garage sales and there was like a bingo moment like whoa they had all kinds of different colors so um, she was kind of rude but you know I just ignored her because she didn't want to give me a discount you know because it's like a lot like it's like ten dollars so I said you know you're gonna give me a discount if I buy the whole thing you know, oh, no, 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 no. It's $10. It's $10. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Um, and then there are places where they're just almost giving it out for free. So if you guys go to garage sales, my one tip for you is go, like, if they say um, 8 to 12, go, like, at 1130 because they're pretty much giving away everything because they don't really want to take it back into their garage. That's the way I am at least. So, you know, sometimes they just give it to me for free and I'm just so ecstatic and happy 
except for like I really want to do a piece where I'm going to use nothing but china, like fine china. Oh, it's going to look so cute. Actually, I did it with my with my fountain, but it's not I didn't really use actual nice china for that one either. Um, but that's what I'm planning in the future and I'll show you guys that and I'm going to have that in the garden as well but not somewhere where it's going to get like rained on and um, get sun damage or anything like that so here while it's still pretty much um, wet I'm just scraping off the big stuff and you know what once you put it in this container you take it and put it back in the container all those little pieces you can reuse them just add some more water and also don't use this kind of sponge <laughs> i mean i'm your guinea pig guys guinea pig i am the one that's doing all the you know experimental stuff here um, don't use this this sponge because this sponge is so crazy um flimsy use the sp the right correct sponge that you get and what i do when I, I also got the big sponge that you're you actually use for tiling at home depot but because it's expensive i mean it's not that expensive but it's kind of like such a waste i cut that i cut it in pieces so i can you know it'll fit in my hand number one number two i'm not using the whole thing so you know in case i use it for something like cement or grout you know it'll make it harder and I don't have to wash it off so much but I guess they're they um, made those sp specifically for people with huge hands that that can handle that uh, you can also do uh, something with like a, a decoration like an image on there this one I just did random stuff which came out pretty good anyway so um, you know I'm not too worried about it so yeah that's what I do is I just wipe everything off uh, as much as I can but not enough so that you're like in between the grooves and take those um, parts off too and then I just let it sit out in the Sun let it dry up then go over it again with um, a rag on top and normally it would take it off but you can also use the sponge again to remove everything and just like scrape everything off if it doesn't scrape off and you're not seeing every piece of your ceramic on uh, you know it's not showing up it's because it's probably buried underneath all that cement so I would use like a little um, you know you can even use a, like a butter knife or something that similar uh, that you can use to just scrape it off the top of the ceramic and you'll see that it'll come off easily because there's really nothing on the ceramic to uh, you know to hold on to so they're just gonna come off and it's gonna be perfect and look at it oh so beautiful it's so beautiful I love it love it love it love it it's heavy though guys <laughs>
thank you so much for watching my videos and I hope to see you soon. And remember XOXO and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram because you know, you got to support a sister, right? Bye.